Welcome back to the 2022 College Table Tennis Championships. Brandon Lawrence alongside Joe Wells. Joe, we are into the women's singles quarterfinals. We got a great matchup here on table number two. Yeah. Zin Lee of Alone College against Kelly Zhao of Texas. Uh, is that your question? Yes, Brandon, this is going to be a uh, really exciting quarterfinal match. So Obviously, we talked there, earlier about the amount of matches that a lot of these athletes have played so versus yeah. the amount of matches yeah, the yeah, players that are only doing good. singles. Kelly Zhao for Texas has had a very long weekend, very competitive weekend. Her uh, play in doubles was outstanding. Uh, their women's um, team pr uh, play was also outstanding. But now we have uh, Shin Lee here from Ohlone College, and this will be uh, interesting because she has been working uh, tirelessly all weekend as a volunteer. Uh, but now she's just like, it's time to uh, take off one shirt and put on another. <laughs> and get ready for play and uh, she's a very impressive player you know that she's uh solid on the forehand side medium pips on the backhand side um Ohlone college has sent representatives here before as a team but she is uh only here as a singles uh competitor this time around and um, she's gonna have to put in some work uh against kelly Zhao. kelly Zhao, a very feisty player uh, being on the forehand side, likes to stay on the table and, and drive that ball home versus taking really big cuts or too much uh, top spin power loops, really going to see more flat drives off the forehand side. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, but obviously, we'd, uh, we're really excited to see uh, Shin Lee for the first time on these uh, show courts. Absolutely. As a quick reminder of how they got here, Shin Lee defeated Yan Yu Ji of uh, Georgia Tech in straight sets in the last match. Kelly Zhao defeated Iji Gao of Michigan, 11-3 in the fifth. So Kelly Zhao, has, as you said before, has played a lot of table tennis this weekend, starting out with the women's doubles silver medalist on Friday evening. The University of Texas had a great run in the women's team competition. Now she's making a run here in the singles competition. And we actually just saw uh, Eden Ji defeat Ji Lu uh, in the last uh, women's match that was on this court. So we got our, our good uh, fair share of uh, Texas players today. And... Uh, it's great that they're so close, you know, got to win the award for the shortest drive here. Yeah, UT Austin just has a really strong women's program led by uh, Kelly Zhao and uh, her doubles partner there. They um, obviously played a lot of matches, as we saw a lot of matches in day one and day two go five. So um, that's really going to be a telltale sign for me uh, as I look um, to the start of this match. Um, here we go. Zhao to start. And as we can see there, just an opening uh, that Kelly wants to really try to push deep into uh, the lead backhand side. Doesn't want to leave anything in the middle of the table. Uh, you see Lee setting up that point like she wanted to, but couldn't hit the backhand. Ooh, lucky bounce for Kelly Zhao. And that's a really tough serve uh, to read because it starts off as if it looks like it's just going to be top. Uh, and then at the very last moment, she makes the ever so slightest adjustment underneath the ball and it ends up looking uh, more like side under. Uh, that was a play that Kelly wanted. Serve return pops up a little bit. Far in, into the net. 3-2 Zhao early. Yeah, she's just a, late, a little late uh, getting to that forehand loop. Um, slightly uh, behind the ball, but uh, right idea. Yeah, and Kelly Zhao just really solid off the backhand side, uh, picking up those backhand loops and rolls. She's not going to be rattled uh, by that very much, but we're also going to watch to see when she's ready to step around and take that big forehand cut.
Zhao to serve at 5-3, game one. Uh, this is the big forehand. Yeah, just an unlucky bounce there. Ball was deep. Um, Ball hung up there a little high. I know that Kelly Jow really wanted that forehand, but you got to realize that there was a lot of uh, um, a basically a return against the spin. Um, so sometimes it's hard to read, and when the ball bounces, it doesn't really uh, move forward very much. So that's a ball that you really have to get up on and take at its highest point. Like you don't want it to drop because uh, there is some spin on it. Yeah, from 5 2 now to 6 5. A couple errors have creeped into Zhao's game. One more serve here for Lee. And then again, just a beautiful serve that was uh, tough for Kelly to read there. And uh, Shin Lee gets easy points on that serve. She's now knotted it up at six all. Um, obviously, you know, smart by Kelly to take all of her breaks. Again, she's had a very long weekend and, you know, fatigue or, you know, some muscle um, strain is, could possibly be setting in. That's yeah, five straight points now for Jin Lee. Get the sense that Zhao needs this point here. Oh, great forehand. Yeah, just a great time forehand drive to the open court. It's a beautiful angle as it painted the white line. Jin Lee looks like she's getting more and more comfortable as this game goes on again. Uh, she hasn't had as many matches as a lot of these athletes have all weekend. So, you know, again, just a okay. great anticipation off the forehand side. Kelly wanted that ball. It was the right play because she was basically countering a forehand flip and um, just missed it. Six straight points now for Jin Lee. That's four game points here. Yeah, it looks like even right now, Jin Lee's serve uh, game is just really strong. She's placing the ball well. There's a lot of different uh, spins that she's imparting on the ball. Yeah, backhand goes wide. Jin Lee takes the first game, 11-6. It was close early, but Jin Lee definitely figured out that, uh, that first game. Yeah, and Kelly Jow started off really strong. Um, I liked her backhand and backhand play. She didn't really seem too rattled, but she also wasn't struggling with the returns. And then, you know, Shin Lee just uh, went up another notch, uh, on especially starting off with the serve. Um, she was able to impart her own forehand, especially the forehands out wide, uh, was another thing that she did towards the middle of that game. So, you know, great start here for Shin Lee of Ohlone College versus Kelly Jow of Texas. Absolutely, and around the grounds here, the women's quarterfinals, we have a stacked lineup. Angela Guan of California is playing Eden G over on table number four. You can stream that match right now. Coming up next on uh, table number one after the conclusion of the men's round of 16 match, we've got Sophie Wu of MIT against Jackie Lin of Texas Wesleyan. Uh, to the match you're watching right now. And then on table number three, we have Lavanya Marutha Pondian of California. We've seen her a lot over this weekend against Zhang Deng of Texas Wesleyan. So it's a really stacked quarterfinal lineup here in the Women's Singles Championship. We will crown a winner today. Looking forward to a nice end to this uh, women's singles uh, match. We've had a lot of great women's matches uh, in, the, in the women's co team competition. It's also been great to see in the co-ed team competition how many women participated in their team. Uh, really sets NCTTA apart. Uh, how uh, we have such a strong women's table tennis program. Uh, it's been great to see uh, all the matches going on today. Yeah, Brandon, I mean, with the increase of women's uh, participants we've had, we're loving that. I think that there are a lot of the U.S. juniors uh, are coming of age, that they're entering college and starting just to want to compete more, continue their table tennis experience uh, from juniors into college. So that is exactly how uh, table tennis has started to grow more on the women's side, uh, the co collegiate ranks. Absolutely, Joe. And Jin Lee starts off with first point of the match. 
first one of the game, excuse me. Uh, good serve there from Lee. Yeah, and right back at it, which is some really tough serves. Oh, it's a great setup there from Zhao, but can't connect on that last forehand. Yeah, and I like that sneaky play at the very last minute. Zhao, uh, Alex for a very long, fast topspin serve and the attempt to uh, jam Lee up, and she did exactly what she wanted. She just could not finish that point. And Zhao's on the board here in the second game. 3-1 lead here for Lee. there from Zhao. Yeah, and that's exactly what Kelly Zhao needed. She needed to get, you know, a couple uh, cheap points here early going so she doesn't get to let the second game get too far away from her, but I'd still like to see her contend with the uh, Lee serve. She has struggled a little bit with return serve. We see it again there. Uh, that's just such a tough ball to read, and uh, Jin Lee is doing a great job of moving that, that uh, serve around as well, so, you know, it's still going to be a very long match uh, if Kelly Zhao does not figure out uh, the return of serve. Yeah, great backhand punch there by Kelly Zhao down the line. Looking to keep it close here. She serves 3-4, trailing in the second game. Oh, great serve, great forehand. They're tied up here at four in the second game. Yeah, and we typically do not see Jin Li uh, hanging those returns up that high, that deep, but definitely Kelly Zhao made her pay for it. Oh. Yeah, what patience there from Jin Li. Not attacking too early on that shot, 5-4. Yeah, still electing to go back to that serve short to the uh, Kelly Zhao forehand side, which she is trying to step in and return with the backhand flip, but it's just so tough. Yeah, that's a nice serve to her forehand. That, that backhand serve to Lee's forehand has been a little bit successful for her so far. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of side spin on that serve, and uh, Lee just tried to step in and touch it, but again, Carries it long. Very nice pressure put on there by Zhao. And we are tied at six here in the second game. Yeah, and I think Zhao has found something, found some range on that backhand drive. Uh, that's a very effective shot because it's cutting down the timing uh, for your opponent to be able to step around and hit a forehand. Uh, Zhao going for too much there. Zhao can't handle the spin. And you got to remember that sometimes when we talk about can't handle the spin that there might not be as much uh, as we think there is because uh, Jin Li is playing with medium pips on the backhand side. So even though she's rolling over that backhand and looks like topspin, there might not be a whole lot on it. Yeah, that's a great point, Joe. Oh, <laughs> nice adjustment there by Zhao. That was a weird return. Got up to it nicely. Did, took the extra steps. Yeah, just a great footwork there by Kelly Zhao to step in and deposit that backhand into the corner. Yeah, that serve's been successful out there. We are tied at eight here in the second game. Yeah, and it, I mean, it was a smart decision by Jin Lee to want to step over and try to return it with those pips. The last time she saw that same serve, uh, she opened it up on the forehand side and the ball just sailed really long on her. So I like that quick uh, adjustment that she made uh, on that. What beautiful a forehand, forehand return. Beautiful forehand by Kelly Zhao there to take it down the line. She now has her first, uh, well, her second lead in this match. The last time she had a lead was early in game one, and she gave it up 
uh, really quickly, but she's uh, leading here deep in the second game. Oh. Couldn't put the return in play. Nine all. He's out of serve. She gets uh, lets Lee right back into this game yeah. when she was playing so well. Couple of crucial points upcoming here. Oh, oh. A huge backhand. Again, electing to go with the backhand drive. Either down the line, straight up the middle. Such an effective shot for Kelly Zhao of UT Austin. Net and long, tied at 10. That's one of those that uh, every athlete wants back. <laughs> Just off the top of the net, you know it was a great time ball. Uh, it's obviously a ball that you're driving straight up the middle and then it just touches the net and sails long. Unfortunate for Kelly Zhao. Kelly got lucky on the first net. Lee recovers well. John misses the, for the forehand, and we have a game point here for Lee. Yeah, there's just really not much she could have done about that. It was a great point by both ladies. Great adjustments uh, by Shen Lee of Ohlone College. Let serve. You see Zhao taking her time before that serve. Really making sure she's concentrating. Ooh, the serve she wanted. Kelly Zhao misses the forehand, and Jin Lee takes the second game 12 10. That was a much tighter game, Joe. Really back and forth. At the end, Lee was able to pull it out. Much, much tighter game, Brandon, but what I noticed on that last point, that last return of serve, Jin Lee made the adjustment. Kelly Zhao had gone to that very short side underspin serve that Jin Lee had struggled with throughout that game, and she uh, made the adjustment, came across it, opened up her paddle to use the smooth side, not the pips, um, and she was able to uh, control that back versus giving up the free points that she had done earlier. So, uh, great work there by Shen Li not to give up her lead uh, in this game. She leads now 2-0 uh, in the match versus Kelly Zhao of UT Austin. Again, long, long weekend for Kelly Zhao. Um, she is obviously, you know, not the fresher of the two. And um, I know that Jin Li is of tons of experience, great player, and uh, we're excited to see what's going to happen here in the third game, see how much Kelly Zhao has left in the tank. Uh, but we'll be right back with you momentarily. And as the umpire Lynn Leaf calls time, Jin Lee comes back. She, Jin Lee's being coached by the Olympian Nikhil Kumar, which is exciting. Supporting a fellow California team. As the players come back to the table, welcome back to the 2022 College Table Tennis Championships coming here from the sports capital of Texas and at the Round Rock Sports Center. Zhao to serve, get started here in the and third really, game. really, Brandon, Zhao doesn't have to do a whole lot different than she did that last game. It really, she just had some unlucky bounces. Um, I liked where she was on the serve. She started to impart a little bit more of the backhand drive. Um, she was taking the forehand cuts. They just, some of them were just traveling a little long or bouncing off the top of the net. So I think that if she can keep um, similar strategy to what she did for that last game, she still can be successful in this match. Yeah, a couple quick points here from Lee. And on the flip side, Lee wants to make sure Zal doesn't get back in this match, finish it off here in the third game. Gets her own uh, point there from an unlucky <laughs> net ball. Oh, it was 
a great first forehand from Zhao. And set, that's one set of those. So nicely. Zhao's not going to get a whole lot of those. Yeah. You, you have to make that shot no matter what the situation is. Maybe she was a little bit too far back, but, you know, you don't expect Shin Lee to give you that many, you know, forehand sitters in the middle of the table. Absolutely. Uh, great forehand. Oh, just a bit unlucky there from Lee. She was there. Yeah, just great anticipation from Lee. Again, just uh, basically a lot of these points were just decided by some unfortunate net balls. Three all here in the third game. Tight match early. Okay, you see Zhao trying to pump herself up a little bit. Uh, long serve keeps her off balance. Four off. Oh, what a forehand from Kelly. Wow. Just great anticipation. <laughs> Didn't even expect it to come back because she hit such a great shot. I mean, um, Obviously, it started with anticipation from Lee to uh, pick up on that backhand drive by Zhao, and then she just, uh, Zhao just really remained on the attack. And I like, I like what I saw in that last point, and she's still going back for that same side underserve uh, on the forehand side that had, Lee has struggled with most of this match. Zhao's open up a 7-4 lead here. That's interesting that the umpire allowed that towel break there, not the... Uh, not this, the 12 point mark. Yeah, I'm. Well, we're, it's a conversation for a different day. Um, <laughs> ooh, tough back end from Zhao, forces the error from Lin. Jin Lee. Yeah, that served to Lee's forehand. It's been paying off. 9-5 lead now for Zhao in the third game. <laughs> Great adjustment saw, there from Lee. <laughs> we saw that yesterday uh, in a women's match where that, that just mishit skied up ball that's going to land on one side and kick forward to the other side. And you know it's coming. You just have to really time that ball really well. Great job by uh, Jin Lee. Oh, great forehand from Zhao. That steady play gives her four game points here in the third game to, to claw a game back. Yeah, I love the fight from Kelly Zhao of UT Austin right now here in this third game where she had, you know, was really close again in the second game. And like I said at the beginning of this game, she, as long as she stays within what she was doing, I think it was working for her. And it's working. It's, uh, working out in her favor in this third game as she's uh, looking to close it out here on her serve. Yeah, forehand from Lee goes long. Yeah, Kelly Zhao takes third game, 11-7. Kelly Zhao actually got away with one on that last point because she probably didn't want that serve to travel as far as it did. You could see that Jin Lee was able to go ahead and do a forehand loop. Uh, maybe she wasn't expecting it to travel as long as it did, and uh, forehand just sailed on her. But there's definitely a ball that she could have hit. That is actually the depth of that same serve that she wants. Um, the shorter ones have given her trouble. Uh, but that forehand she probably wants back, but she's still 
in, in control of this match with a 2-1 lead. All she needs to do is close out this fourth game uh, to advance. But Kelly Jow is a fighter. UT Austin, you know, great table tennis program. A uh, line of women that have been fighting all weekend. So I know that she's not going to go quietly. Absolutely, Joe. And we'll see what further adjustments she can make here to, to reassert control over the match. Yeah, we would take this time to thank again our sponsors, City of Round Rock, Round Rock CVB. They've been fantastic partners uh, throughout this whole process. Yeah, Joe, we were supposed to be here, and we were here in 2016, 2018, and they've been great to work with over the past few years to make sure we have a successful return to college table tennis. Thank them to our partners, to our overall equipment uh, suppliers, DHS, Double Fish. Thank you for your continued support of NCTTA and college table tennis. We appreciate all of the volunteers here as well that have uh, made this event possible. You see all the umpires on the courts, the production team behind the scenes doing the camera work, making sure that the, the production quality is as high as it always is, and to all of our behind the scenes workers who uh, make it all possible. So we're here in the fourth game with Lee to serve. Yeah, and there's a certain little slight level of pep in uh, Jin Lee's serve to start this fourth game. Yeah, you see Zhao pumping herself up way more. I feel like the whole energy of this match has shifted, Joe. Yeah, I mean, obviously it could be 2-1 Kelly Zhao right now because she had a great uh, second game. Um, but unfortunately, it was just a couple net balls that didn't go her way. But... Um, Again, she had started to figure some things out in game two and three. She absolutely have an early three love lead here. Oh, lucky off the net. Kelly Zhao was in com complete control of that point too. Zhao definitely making Shen Li pay for those balls that are sitting up there high. She's very quick on the step around. We saw her miss some of those forehands earlier, but that one did not get away from Kelly Zhao. Oh, her backhand goes long. You can see yeah, Lee get excited there. She's quickly telling herself, like, just to calm down, don't, don't rush. Uh, it's the right shot. It's one that's been working for her throughout the match. She just got a little ahead of that ball. Ooh, Zhao, a little impatient there with that backhand. Well, Joe, we've got our first semifinalist in the women's singles. Uh, Angela Guan of California defeated Eden G of Texas. The chopper, number one seed, straight sets over Eden G. Yeah, and Kelly Zhao looking to see if she can uh, keep that Longhorn ride going with UT Austin advancing to the next semi as her doubles partner goes out to a very strong uh, competitor, national team member. And Angela Guang at UC Berkeley. Uh, Angela, uh, I feel like, <laughs> has endless eligibility. Um, she's been here just so many years. She's been competing and competing at the highest level, always making her way um, to quarters, finals, fi women's finals, women's doubles finals, team women's team finals, co-ed finals. She's just <laughs> always there, and it's great to see her. She's a great spirit to have here at the uh, championships. She's just um, a great energy as well, um, awesome competitor. And uh, she just breaks up some of that, um, what we normally see, some very fast top spin um, drive points. And then, then, then you get her, and she gets on the table, and she just pretty much is just going to wear you out. Absolutely great to have her here. And Kelly Zhao with a 7-4 lead here. Now at 5-7, with the energy changing here, Lee needs to do more here to make sure she can get, you know, keep her, you know, control of this match. 
Yeah, too far, not too far out of hand. She, hopefully she can get some cheap points here on serve. Ball! Yeah, but again, ball. she did not use that serve that she worked so well in games one and game two, electing to go with a very low side topspin serve. Um, but she's, again, still in this match. Oh, great forehand there. Kelly's out, couldn't quite get there. Yeah, and that's a, a tough ball to really control, Brandon, as you're reaching for a ball that's not very fast but has a lot of topspin. And uh, Kelly just wasn't able to get her racket uh, the right angle on it. Uh, but great job by Jin Lee to come back in this fourth game. Ball! And back end goes wide from 7-3 to 8-7. And just out. like that, UT Austin calls times out as they, they saw you know, they were up 7-5 and quickly erased three straight points by Jin Lee of Ohlone College to come back and lead this fourth game. Uh, she's looking to take this fourth game to close out this match. If not, we will go to a fifth. Kelly Zhao obviously playing very well, but just, again, some unlucky bounces. And uh, some of this game, these last few points are played a little loose. Uh, so she's going to have to get back into it. Absolutely. And we have our second semifinalist, Zen Dang from Texas Wesleyan, another name we've seen throughout this entire weekend. She defeated Lavanya Marathapandian from California, 12-10, 11-5, 11-9. So we have two of the four women's semifinals have been set. Over on table number one, Sophie Wu, Sophia Wu, Sophie Wu, excuse me, and Jackie Lin of Texas Wesleyan have just started their match after a really long and exciting men's match. So we're getting closer here to the uh, finals of the women's singles championship. Yeah, this is really, you know, every match is so critical critical as we can see a lot of the athletes that are, are done with their matches for the day filing in to support their teammates in these uh, singles events. Absolutely and coming up here on tables one and two in the men's singles quarterfinal over on table one Jack Wong against Nikhil Kumar that's going to be a heck of a match and over here on table two we'll have just as good of a match between Young Kim Wong of NYU and Kai Zhang of USC so a lot of great tables as here on table two. But now we have Kelly Zhao serving at 7-8 at a critical juncture here in the fourth game. Huge backhand. Time out paying dividends there. I mean, this is nothing you can do about a ball that fast coming straight at you into the body. It's a super smart play a lot of times to play to your opponent's elbow when you're driving it versus playing out to the wings to give them a chance to use their uh, their reach. But uh, great shot there by Kelly Zhao. Oh. Yeah, forehand into the net there. Two points away from the match in the semifinals. Oh, oh the backhand return goes long. Oh, uh, just unfortunate there for Kelly Zhao. She played that backhand. But again, that's the serve that we saw in games one and game two from Shin Lee that gave Kelly Zhao more trouble than the uh, side topspin serve that she was using early part of this game. Um, so she went back to the well that had got her here, and uh, she now has match point. Ah! Match points on Zhao, sir. And off the edge, oh. it's over. Jin Lee has defeated Kelly Zhao, 11-8 in the fourth game. Yeah, there was some unsurety there and great sportsmanship and honesty from Kelly Zhao uh, because uh, she could have elected not to say that that hit the edges. Looks like the umpires were a little unsure of whether or not it hit the edge. And I think Jin Lee thought that it hit the edge, but she wasn't 100% sure either. So uh, again, love to see the sportsmanship yeah. uh, from Kelly Zhao, UT Austin. Obviously a great tournament for that young lady. Uh, she's going to have a big future in college table tennis, and uh, we're going to see a whole lot more from this UT Austin team in the years to come. But congratulations to Jin Lee of Ohlone College, and she will advance to the semifinals. Yes, absolutely, Joe. And that's a very interesting end to that one with the assistant umpire calling the edge, head umpire not seeing it at first, discussing, making the call. And uh, Kelly Jollop, like you said, with the sportsmanship. So. 
Jin Li of Alone College advances to face Zhen Deng in the women's semifinal. We'll see that match up here shortly. Coming up next here on table number two, Young Zhao Wang, Kai Zhang. Fantastic match coming up. Brandon Lawrence alongside Joe Wells here at the 2022 College Table Tennis Championships. Thanks for watching. We're here in Round Rock, Texas.